first things first, I'd like to say thank you to Jessica Lee for initiating this conversation. I'd like to read the comment that I left underneath her video. By definition, nappy means tightly curled and kinky. I don't take offense to the word in itself, but the context that it is often used in is often very offensive. She doesn't have nappy hair, she has nice hair. Statements like that are disgusting and it is sad that so many of our people see ourselves as disgusting and bad and ugly. I'm offended by that mindset, not by the word nappy. My hair is nappy and gorgeous. Growing up, I always considered myself having kind of nappy hair. I knew it wasn't quite as nappy as like my big sister or my, my cousin, but I knew that my hair was nappy. My understanding was that nappy hair was hair that was not straight. So that's like a whole range of nappiness. I never thought of it as a bet in a bad way. Even though, yes, I was very aware that a lot of people thought that nappy hair in itself was bad. But I never thought that the word nappy was a bad word. I remember my sophomore year in college, I went to a Sigma Gamma Rho program about natural hair versus perm. In closing, one of the SG roles said something along the lines of don't call your hair nappy, nappy is a bad word, your hair is kinky, it's not nappy. But that was her closing statement so I couldn't raise my hand and say wait what do you mean like nappy is not a bad word. That's how I felt but like it was the end of the program and people were you know making their way out so I couldn't just raise my hand at that moment. That's the first time I really thought about it. Or do you just not like nappy hair? It's, there's a difference. It's a significant difference. And um, Cheska Lee mentioned that people are currently repurposing the word nappy. As in like, it used to be a bad word and now people are starting to own it. Much like the N word. At first I did really disagree with that. Because I... Like I said before, I didn't think that nappy was originally a bad word. So then I decided to look up the etymology, the origin of the word. Apparently nappy is like <laughs> a nickname for napkin in England. Irrelevant. I couldn't really find exactly what I was looking for. So I just looked into different definitions and here's one. Tightly curled or twisted, frizzy. Occasionally, specifically in reference to black textured hair. That sounds about accurate to me. Fuzzy, kinky, used in colloquial or derogatory reference to black people hair. So derogatory was in that definition. So then I have to agree. If, if um, the word in itself is a derogatory term, then yeah, definitely people are repurposing the word now. I never took offense to it. Somebody left me a, like a comment in response to my comment under Cheska Lee's video saying that if a white person called my hair nappy, you'd be offended. No, I wouldn't. I would only be offended based on the context of the, the statement, to be honest. But along my journey, and not my hair journey, I mean my life journey, I learned not to take offense to certain words people say because at the end of the day people have different upbringing, people have different experiences, people see things differently in life in general. So I try not to take offense to things that people say but um, I, I would much rather focus on their intention behind what they say. So I'm really interested in your opinion on the subject so leave a comment below. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Tumblr. Love, light, and locks.